Please note that only primary users can manage walled garden users and gain access to this section of the site. Welcome to our Walled Garden online tutorial. This video will show you step by step how to manage walled garden users. From the home page, select the Settings tab from the first navigation bar. A second navigation bar will appear and from this you should choose Centre Settings, which will now be highlighted in bold. If you are a main centre, you'll have the option to choose your sub-centre to view relevant information about the centre on this page. This option is only visible at main centre level. If you are both a City and Guilds and ILM centre, please choose either City and Guilds or ILM from the tabs below Centre Settings. The button will turn blue when selected. In the Centre Settings section, there should be three visible tabs. Centre Details, Centre Preferences and Manage Users. Please choose the third tab, Manage Users. In the top left hand corner, you'll see an information summary about users for your centre. This includes the maximum number of users and the number of active users. Information for each of the active users is displayed in the table below. This includes name, email address, job title, user profile and last login. There is also an indication of user accounts that are locked. All of the information tabs can be sorted in ascending or descending order. In the top right hand corner is a pink box which indicates which user accounts are pending changes or deletion. You'll also have two action buttons which let you save a copy of your user list. Export to CSV allows you to export the user list to an Excel spreadsheet that can be saved. Print list of users sends the list to your printer for an immediate hard copy. To add a new walled garden user, click on the blue Add User button. A screen will pop up with relevant information fields to be completed. A red asterisk denotes a mandatory field. For City and Guilds UK customers, you'll be able to choose a Quality add-on profile from a drop-down menu selection. In the Job Title field, you can choose Other from the drop-down list. A free text entry bar will appear, allowing you to type in the job title for that user. You can find out more information about each of the walled garden profiles if you hover the mouse over the blue More Info text under each profile. Once you've completed all of the required fields, click the green Create User button at the bottom of the screen. A confirmation message will appear on the screen acknowledging the receipt of this change, and the updates will be applied within 24 hours. Please note, each centre can have a maximum of two primary users. An alert will pop up when you click Create User if you exceed this number. The email address you enter must be unique. Again, an alert will pop up when you click Create User if you have typed in an existing email address. If you want to change the entry for an existing walled garden user, click on the Edit button next to the user you wish to update. A pop-up screen will appear with the information fields available to edit. Once you have amended any relevant fields, click the green Save Changes button at the bottom of the screen. A pop-up confirmation will appear and changes will be applied within 24 hours. The user whose details have been changed will receive an email confirmation of this. When a change is pending, that user will be highlighted in pink until the system has been updated. In this section, you are also able to lock a user which will prevent them from accessing the walled garden. To do this, select the Lock User button at the bottom of the screen and a pop-up box will appear asking for confirmation from you. This change takes immediate effect and an email will be sent to the locked user. Please note that text is case sensitive. To delete a walled garden user, click on the grey X box next to the user you wish to delete. You will be asked to confirm the deletion and you can choose OK to continue or Cancel to go back. A pop-up confirmation will appear acknowledging receipt of the deletion which will be applied in 24 hours. A summary email will be sent to both the deleted user and the primary user who made the change. When a deletion is pending, the user will be highlighted in pink 
and the text will be struck through until the change takes effect. To reinstate a Walled Garden user, click on the grey Reinstate button next to that user. A confirmation pop-up box will ask you to confirm, and you should choose OK to continue or Cancel to go back. If you confirm, a second pop-up box will appear asking if you would like to reset that user's password. If you click OK, an email is sent to that user with instructions on how they can reset their password. If you select Cancel, the user's original password will remain active. When a reinstatement is pending, that user will be highlighted in pink until the change is updated on the system. An email will be generated if the account is unlocked or password reset as part of a reinstatement. We hope that you have found this tutorial useful. Check out our online resource hub for further information.